Um, my name is Ken Cheeseman. Um, I'm an actor and also a uh, artist in residence at Emerson College. And I'm not sure with uh, Guy whether it was through um, Emerson College or through my work as an actor that uh, he found me, but um, I think probably a combination of both. And um, he talked to me about this play uh, sometime at the end of last year and um, it really intrigued me and he invited me to do it, to play Ulysses and that's how it unfolded. What was it like to play Ulysses? Um, it was a journey and, and you know, that's, that's sort of fitting given the character uh, since it is an odyssey that he goes on. So, um, yeah, and the Odyssey was, was great because there was a lot of discovery. Um, I've not yet been to Israel, and so um, I learned a lot about Israel and Israelis doing this play, and that things aren't so simple. Things are really complex. Um, and people on both sides of this particular issue of Gaza um, come from places of deep caring. Um, about the issues. It's not like anybody is, is uh, just dismissing it. So I thought that was, it was powerful. It was great. Well, I think, you know, before I go on any journey, I try to put expectations aside. Um, so I don't know if I have expectations. I, I think I'd rather just go with the idea of the unknown. Many, 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 many years ago, like now probably 20 something years ago, a friend of mine and I, uh, a friend who has family in Israel, we had said we wanted to go and do a long bike ride through Israel because I'm a big bike rider. And um, unfortunately my friend died and so uh, we didn't get to go. So I'd always had that in the back of my head and then I met Guy's father and his father's like a big bike rider. So now I'm like going, oh, at least I know. I, and now I know two other people there who also bike. So I'm thinking I'm going to call them and, and show up and maybe plan a long ride uh, and just sort of see what I see and discover what I discover. But without expectation, I think I should just go open-minded. Um, let me start with Guy. Um, he's got an extraordinary... Um, sensibility uh, around the story and the story that he wants to get told, um, which is a, you know, is something that I really, uh, that's how I work. I work with the idea of the narrative and the story and, and how do we tell it and how do we find it. Um, and I felt like I understood the story that Guy wanted to tell um, he communicated it beautifully. Um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, his chronological age, he's a young guy, but he had a real uh, mature wisdom to the way he directed. He had a great deal of confidence, and I absolutely loved working with him. He was just terrific, just really, really, really terrific. And I think everybody in the cast felt exactly the same way. Um, then he, he got a great cast and there wasn't anybody, except for Daniel Berger Jones, I had not worked with before, but everybody else I'd worked with in plays numerous times and, um, or in projects of some kind and loved working with them before, loved working with them on this and um, have also enjoyed watching each of those actors on stage when I've gone to see them in shows. Um, and since, you know, most of my stuff is with uh, Jeremiah Kissel, um, and Jerry and I have known each other a really long time. And uh, in fact, we, we've been doing satyrs together for, uh, like, I think this is our 15th or 16th year. So we have all kinds of interesting connections. And um, I just felt like Jerry was looking to use this play the same way I was, which was to explore the human condition and to explore our place within the human condition. And that made it really exciting. 
every single night to go out on stage with him. And I thought same thing with Will, even though that wasn't a kind of conversation any of us had really had. Um, it was just a thing that happened. Having Gilad, the playwright there, was such a treat. And he was, um, again, so generous, so open. Um, funny, when we were talking about if I were to go to Israel to go without expectation, I felt like uh, Gilad came without expectation in, in, in the best of ways and was just open and generous uh, with us. And I never felt imposed upon by him. Um, I felt like he was in the process of discovery with the play. Uh, yeah, that was great. What a, what a great human being he is. Really, really interesting man. Okay, so future of Israeli stage. Um, there was something that got brought up in rehearsals that was interesting, which was, you know, why Israel? Why, why all this attention on this? You know, it's not that big a country. And when you think of Gaza, how tiny that is. Um, why in the news? Why all this negotiating, talking? And I've been giving a lot of thought to that from the play. And I think it has to do with with Israel, with the Middle East being such a cradle of the civilization that we all share, I think that it is a point of, of so many cultures. When you think of where the Middle East is placed in relationship to India, to Africa, to Europe, to Russia, to China, that it, it, it is a place where things meet and the issues that are being grappled with in the Middle East and in Israel in particular, I really think every person on the planet should make some effort to see if they can be resolved, see if we can find ways of living together, of working together, of being together um, in that place. And I think if it could happen there, it would spread through the world. And so I think Israeli stage, and it looks like, you know, certainly with this play, what it's doing is taking that microcosm of Israel and letting us see it so that we see its universality. We see all of us in that. And I think that that means what a terrific future for this group because that's the nature of art and performing arts and, and that. So I just think it's got a really good future. Amazing. That's it. All right, cool. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome.